this 51 year old uh, senior ed educator accused him of indecent exposure. Said she saw him walking on the hall behind her with his genitals on him. He had an erection. And so when I began to question her about it, her story got a little more bizarre. So I, uh, well, first she said uh, he was on every, well, she, he was walking behind her. Then she said she saw him on every hall. Like this. I, she said, I watched him for a long time. I said, You did? She says, Yes. So he was about this 51-year-old uh, senior ed educator accused him of indecent exposure. Said she saw him walking on the hall behind her with his genitals on him. He had an erection. And so when I began to question her about it, her story got a little more bizarre. So I, uh, well, first she said uh, he was on every, well, she, he was walking behind her. Then she said she saw him on every hall. Like this, I, she said, I watched him for a long time. I said, you did? She says, yes. So he was behind her. She watched him. Did, did they pull up the cameras? See, he served as legal counsel to the school board. Oh. So he protects the school board. Oh. So I wasn't going to see any cameras, you see. Oh, man. And then prior to that, he had already uh, jailed me. Right. And I had written him up. So there was some bad blood there. So when this happened, he said, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to show her. <laughs> I'm a, I've known, you know, I don't condone uh, any kind of violence, you know. Well, what kind of evidence was brought out in trial? <gasps> no more than no. the And they no. brought another lady into the trial. I was going to get to that. Okay. Um, then, uh, uh, after I... Well, after she called it uh, press charges, and then I had to turn him in. Uh, he attempted to go back to school on August the 4th. I'll never forget. We got there, and we were turned around. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the superintendent, not the superintendent, the, the principal, Frank Blank, told me that the reason why he was being turned around is because what, what happened to him that summer with that teacher. I said, are you turning us around? He says, uh, yes. Uh, until further notice from the superintendent mm -hmm. and the, uh, the uh, school board. So I brought Matthew back home and I called the Louisiana Board of Education, Mr. Lester Hitchcock with the Bessie board. And I explained to him what had happened and what they was accusing my son of. He said, it just had, uh, he said, uh, has your son ever been convicted of anything? I said, no. He said, uh, was he expelled? I said, no. And uh, he says, and he wasn't a student. I said, no. He said, well, uh, they can't keep him from uh, uh, attending his school. He said, they can't keep him from attending his school. Yes. And if they continue to do that, file a civil suit on him. And he said, furthermore, that is her word against his, and you should be able to see those cameras. If they got cameras, then you should be able to see them. Mm -hmm. I said, well, they won't allow it. So he said, well, you tell them uh, if they don't let him back in that you're going to file a civil suit. So I called the superintendent and told him what Mr. Hitchcock said. Mr. Hitchcock, uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Beach and that's the superintendent said, well, he can go back to school. It wasn't me. It was the principals. I said, well, you're the superintendent. And he can go back. So Matthew went back to school August the 7th. That is when Paige Fleming a 47-year-old uh, uh, teacher in the middle school said she had saw him two months earlier, but she didn't say anything at the time. She had saw him uh, in June too, but she didn't say anything. She, she, uh, so she came out after. She's the aftermath. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, uh, the following week that was the project. Now the same day. That she filed her complaint was the same day Matthew come back to school. Isn't that ironic? Oh, man. Yeah. And uh, so we went for his arraignment that Monday for the first teacher, which was on the 11th. Mm -hmm. And that's when uh, they added the other uh, teacher's complaint, yes, which is, that's all it should have been was a complaint. There was no sworn affidavit, and we're talking about two isolated events. Mm -hmm. You know, she wasn't a witness for the first teacher, and the first teacher wasn't a witness for her. 
both of those charges was added to uh, his record. And the judge said both of them would be under the same bond, which I had uh, already did a $10,000 bond. So the judge said Manti could go back to his school, which he couldn't keep him out of school. It didn't have anything to do with what happened during the summer. Matthew goes back to school the next day. Ms. Allison goes up to the classroom where he's sitting and sees him in there, goes downstairs and calls the police and says, oh, he's back or whatever. He shouldn't be here. They just come and rush and get him, take him out of the school, take him to the police station. Okay, so my cousin and I, um, he called me from the police station. He said, Mama, they didn't came and got me out of school. I said, where are you? He said, I'm at the police station. I said, I'll be there. My cousin and I went to the police station to uh, to get him. The, uh, the policeman, I said, I'll come to get him. Oh, no, you can't take him. You can't take him. And I said, well, the judge told us yesterday that he could go back to his school in open court. Mm -hmm. I said, if he hadn't, I would, I would not have been here. Well, with much reluctance, he called the judge. Judge Carmichael. The judge told him that he said he could go back to his school. So he's 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 telling us us then telling Matthew how to act. Don't go near them teachers or just how to you know just how to present himself when you go back to school. Then he says, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." He gets on another phone and he calls the DA. He calls the DA. I said, uh, "I thought you no." I, I, I asked him. I said, "Who you, you calling the judge again?" He said, "No." I, I said, "Who are you talking to?" He said, I'm talking to uh, the judge. I said, you just called the judge. He called the DA. And the, uh, the DA must have gotten with the judge. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm sorry, but I'm about to place him on arrest again. He put my son back in jail on a $40,000 bond. He got yet to say what the bond is for. Mm -hmm. And held my son in jail. He said, well, when, when we were there, he said he was going to be on a 72-hour hold. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, this happened on a Wednesday, I'm thinking like Saturday morning, he's going to come home, turn it into a, uh, uh, five days mm -hmm. and a $40,000 bond. And you still don't know what the bond is for? No, no. And so they're all in collusion together. And my, my baby been in and out of court with this mess ever since. Mm -hmm. And to top it off, he wasn't the first uh, uh, young man Miss Allison had sexually harassed. But they protect these these teachers. They protect them. So where's the other kid? Huh? Where's the other kid? Oh, the one that she sleeping with Jackson. In Jackson. And what did they do with that case? They didn't do anything. Well, with the it? mother told me she 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 uh, went to the school board, said, but the school board didn't do anything. I don't. Know, I think she touched him some kind of way. So this lady is a pedophile, is what you're saying? Yeah. She's a and she's in school teaching kids. She deals, yeah. Assistant principal, yes. Hmm. yes. Assistant principal, yes. right now. Yes. And if you saw how she dressed, mm -hmm. she dressed, I don't Very know. Very provocative yes. for a, a, yes. a superintendent, yes. assistant yes. superintendent. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, I'm not, we're not the only one that had complaints with her. I, I didn't know just how many complaints she had until she accused him. But I know that's, that's not my son. If he, if she, if he has, if they had told me, he said, well, he went off on us and he's, he started sacking somebody out, I said, yeah, maybe. If they said he was out there dumpster diving, because I used to get on him about, uh, uh, when he was working, you know, like going in the people, like people in the door, like, uh, he's on computer wines and in that yeah. trash can. And he, he said, well, they threw him away, mama, they don't want him. I said, don't bring that here, mm -hmm. you know, or something like that. If it had been something like that, I'd, I'd probably say But what you're saying is, overall, you don't have problems, disciplinary problems at all with your son? No. 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 And how long this case has been going on? This, since when? This case has been going on since uh, June of 2009. Oh, my God. Three years? Yes. That's yeah. over three years. He's 17. He's 20 now. He's 20. Oh the law says the same. He'll be 20 21 next month. Next month. I've been, I've been coming with him every yeah, so how many times have y'all been to court now? I don't know, by, by 20 sometimes. Oh my God. And counting. By 20 sometimes. And this should have been over with. Yes. But uh, I, I, they had already convicted me uh, for theft that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. uh, should have been, a, in my opinion, a civil matter. Mm -hmm. But here they can make it whatever they want to make. I see the way that they act yeah, in they court. Can make it. I, I
you can wear it. that this is still going on in 2012. Okay. Go watch. Um, there's a four cameras when uh, he supposedly exposed himself to a middle school teacher. Now, this one has bipolar yeah. disorder. Mm -hmm. Bipolar disorder was taking counseling at her own school. And uh, no date. <laughs> No date on her complaint or nothing. She just said one day in June. So where is her complaint at? Have, do you have a copy of it? Do you have yes. any? Yes, I have. Uh, I have. And also, uh, I have her complaints. Both complaints are online. I put them online. I put everything out there so everybody can see. You know. Yeah. I mean, tell our story to lawless America. Yes. That, that's that's going to be a big weight off of my shoulders. Uh, so, you know, uh, corruption like this and, and, and injustice will be exposed to the world. It's, um, you know, so like, this is like, like this is rampant in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Louisiana is known for having anymore. See, he served as legal counsel to the school board. Oh. So he protects the school board. Oh. So I'm going to go see any cameras. You see. Oh man! And then prior to that, he had already uh, jailed me, right. and I had written him up. So it was some bad blood there. So when this happened, he said, "Well, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm show her. <laughs> I'm a, I've known, you know, I don't condone uh, any kind of violence, you know." What kind of evidence was brought up?